there's more than meets the eye when it comes to downward facing dog. It's one of yoga's most famous poses and it's an amazing stretch for the upper and lower body. But today I'm going to be showing you just how many menopause symptoms it can help. And for each symptom, I'm going to be sharing a tip. So let's dive on in. So let's take brain fog. In downward facing dog, imagine this is your head. This is the long slope of the spine. These are the hips, the bottom up high. The head is lower than the heart. Technically, it's an inversion. And inversions in yoga of any kind, they help quieten the mind and they send a boost of blood to the brain. This helps to clear the fog. It helps you better focus, concentrate, you have sharper memory recall, and you just feel better able to have a perspective. Really useful in menopause. I'm gonna give you one tip for uh, the head in downward facing dog. So in the pose, sending the hips, pushing back nice and high, you can see my head is in line with this arm, okay? So don't let the head hang, keep the head in line with the arms and you're looking back, your focus is back between the legs. Anxiety is one of the most common symptoms in menopause. And when it comes to downward facing dog, it's a brilliant pose, right? You already have this inversion aspect where the head's lower than the heart, so you're calm in the mind. But by really staying in the pose and stretching out the length of the body, you are helping release that tension. So I'm gonna give you a tip for when you're in your downward facing dog, okay? No rushing, staying in the pose, pushing the hips nice and high, really drawing the navel in, pushing back, looking between the legs, and staying here for five long, steady breaths. So really, really slowing everything down, using the breath to release that tension in the body and you release the anxiety. Osteoporosis, we often think of this as being something that happens in our later years, but here's the thing, it starts in perimenopause. So what you do now to strengthen those bones really helps. And downward facing dog is a brilliant pose. You are strengthening your hands, you are strengthening your wrists, you are strengthening your shoulder joints, right? So it's a weight bearing pose and really, really can help offset those brittle bones. Here's a tip for the shoulders. So in downward facing dog, as you're pushing back, hips high, pushing back, lengthening, stretching the body, think about rotating the shoulders out. So turning the shoulders outward gives you that wonderful opening here across the chest, but it helps to stretch across the upper back. So give it a try as if you're turning the shoulders outwards. Pelvic floor. Our pelvic floor also starts to weaken as we go on our menopause journey thanks to the loss of oestrogen. Downward facing dog is the pose to do, right? You're in the pose anyway, so why not practice drawing up those pelvic floor muscles? By drawing the navel in, pulling the tummy in, you protect the spine. So, but by drawing up the pelvic floor, you're also pulling the tummy in at the same time. So when you're in your downward facing dog, here's the tip, pushing high, pushing the hips high, draw the tummy in, draw up the pelvic floor. And as you're staying here for five long steady breaths, see if you can keep that pelvic floor drawn up because that will strengthen your pelvic floor muscles and it will also tone your core as well. So it's a win-win. So when it comes to hips, again, loss of estrogen in menopause and our hips can get very sore and very, very tight. And in downward facing dog, you're stretching all down the backs of the legs, you're in particular the hamstrings behind the thighs. And these are important because when these are tight, they can pull on the hips. 
and in turn they pull on the lower back but they can add to the problems with the hips and they can also increase the tightness in the hip flexor. So here's a little tip for you. So when you're in your downward facing dog, if you have tight hamstrings and you can't quite get the heels down to the mat, bend the knees, push the hips back, right? And you'll feel that stretch still in the hamstrings and then just pedal, pedal the feet, pushing one heel down to the mat at a time. And you're going to get that stretch on the backs of the hamstrings, which in turn will help the hips. So menopause can also start to interfere with our internal workings and it's not uncommon to have indigestion problems, bloating and constipation. So downward facing dog is your friend. Whilst you're in the pose, right, you, your spine is nicely stretched and, and aligned as it should be. So whilst it's in that position, there's no pressure on the spine. So it can boost blood flow to all of the organs. The spine is linked with all of those organs, right? I'm going to show you a little tip, which will give you a further boost to those internal organs. So whilst you're in the pose, try and mindfully just pedaling the feet slowly, lifting one heel off the mat at a time. And as you do, just do a little twist. So a little twist and you'll get this stretch on the left hand side. A little twist and you get the nice stretch on the right hand side. So twisting is a great way to stimulate blood flow to the organs, which helps fire everything up and gets everything working as it should. So downward facing dog is quite an unusual pose in that it targets upper body and lower body at the same time. You are stretching your arms, your shoulders, your upper back, lower back, the entire length of the spine, the backs of the thighs, the calves, the hands and the feet. Perfect for those days when you wake up feeling very stiff with aches and pains and so on. It gives the body the best stretch. Now, I'm going to give you a little tip for your feet because whilst you're in the pose, stay longer and really work the feet. Lots of nerve endings in the feet to stimulate various parts of the organs in the body. So arriving in the pose, think about pushing, lifting the heel off the mat and pushing into the toe joints and just holding, really, really working those toe joints and then pushing the heel down to the mat and lift in the toe joints and you get this incredible stretch it adds to the hamstring stretch okay lifting the foot up pushing into the toe joint pressing down the heel lifting the toes and remember if hamstrings are tight bend the knees and bring your chest or your tummy to your knees and you can still get the same effect and if you want to enjoy a free trial of my membership, see the link below in the description and I'll see you again soon. Namaste.